This word I'm about to share with you is your secret to having the most amazing life and finding success, creating success in every single area of your life. Are you ready for the word? I'll tell you in a second. But first, I'm going to tell you, my name is Lenny Wennerstrom. <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> you've heard it many times if you follow me, if you've been here. By the way, welcome to New People Roos. This channel is growing. Thank you. Thank you so very, very mucho. It's a very small channel, and and I just I love that it's growing, that you are sharing my message. I, I said this yesterday, and I will say it every single day. I'm so grateful for you sharing and for for you that are new for finding for finding this channel and finding what I share with you of value. So what do I do? I help you to find your purpose. My name is Lenny Wennerstrom. I already said that. And I use as a tool every single day, I read a passage from Dr. Shad Helmstetter. You need to say that 50,000 times. <laughs> Dr. Shad Helmstetter's book, 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose. So let's get to the cliffhanger. Ready for the word? The word is... Do 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 drum roll please. Brrr. Neuroplasticity. Do do do. That's your word. That's your word for today. That is your magic wand. That is your key to having the most to understanding that means that when you can rewire your brain. Your brain is constantly rewiring. It is creating neural circuits, it's creating new circuits and um, neural pathways that are just coming together to form new programs for you that are positive or negative or somewhere in between. It's up to you. When you understand neuroplasticity, you understand how it works. Um, and, and today's passage is really all about that because that's one of the rules of neuroplasticity that I'll cliffhanger share in a moment. <laughs> anyway, so neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to rewire itself until the day you take your last breath and you get to choose and it's repetition is the key to that because the more you repeat something the more that it at first it, the brain just records it and then the more you hear it this is why the people that you spend your time with they're programming your brain you're programming theirs so the more that you hear things from these people or when you were little and somebody told you whatever that you were like, you were amazing. Let's go somewhere, something positive. <laughs> Cause a lot of times I'll say, you know, you're going to be like your little, your aunt, a roly poly, like your aunt Phoebe or something like that. And I don't know if people would say that, but, um, that was kind of a cute word in our, in our household. So, but anyway, th the more that things are repeated, that you are awesome and amazing. You can do anything like you're so smart. You're so smart. You're so smart. And pretty soon you're like, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. And then you start saying, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. And then the ego, of course, kind of people say, ah, oh, you think so highly of yourself. And then you start thinking, ah, oh, maybe I better not say I'm so smart, but you're still thinking because it's wired in. I'm so smart. <laughs> and you are because <laughs> you are what you say you are. And, and so that neuroplasticity is, is, it is such a breakthrough in, in science that a lot, kind of like quantum physics, because truly I believe the brain is like, it's all quantum physics. We are, it's all energy. Anyway, let's not go into all of this. Let's just, let's talk about the, the word neuroplasticity, the power, not of the word, but of what it represents for you. And, um, and also what it, what it has represented that maybe you were not aware of that you can change those programs. Boy, that sun is intense. So today's July 8th. It is day 190, 190, 176 days left in 2024, and we are 51.91% complete with 2024. It is rolling on down. We are on the backside of that butamous mountain called a year. So July 8th, and I'm going to say happy birthday to my mommy. She, I do believe she'd be 85 today. I was, I'm 62. So she was, maybe she was going to be 60. I don't know. Yeah, I think she was 23 when she when she um, hatched me. So, <laughs> so anyway, so to the happy birthday to my mommy. She's up up there in the, or I always say up. I think most of us do. We think heaven, but it's she's her spirit is everywhere. So happy birthday to my mommy. Okay, so let's read this passage. So July 8th, and we're gonna come back to this. 
I am always mindful of being mindful. Being mindful of being mindful. You, that means you're conscious of being mindful. Think about that. Like, I'm mindful. I'm being mindful of that thing. And then you see, you're like, oh, I'm being, mind, I'm being mindful that I'm mindful. <laughs> this is very important. So let's start all over. I am mindful of being mindful. I am consciously aware of being aware. Because I'm mindful, I listen to what I say. And I also listen carefully to my thoughts. Because I'm mindful, I'm in control of what I think, what I say, and how I feel. And you are. Here we go. This is second person, your higher self. You are always mindful of being mindful. You are consciously aware of being aware. Because you're mindful, you listen to what you say, and you also listen carefully to your thoughts. Because you're mindful, you're in control of what you think, what you say, and how you feel. And you are. We've talked a lot about that. We talked about your belief. Where did your belief come from? It comes from your programs. And your belief creates your attitude, and your attitude creates your feelings, and your feelings create your actions, and your actions create your results. So doing, 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 doing. That's how it rolls. So it's a, it's very, very amazing. Okay, so, you know, I, I wanted to talk about using self-talk because th these are self-talk phrases, and I'm constantly encouraging you to get Dr. Shad's, uh, his, his. Um, app, which is a self-talk app, which is, has different programs. And I'm not talking, I, they're, they're, they're programs. They're not mental programs, but they're, they're designed like these to be very specific and help you to change the programs you've got running in your head right now, which are 77% negative, harmful, counterproductive, don't serve you in any way They actually, um, you sabotage yourself. And, and you don't even know why it's your programs. And, and then the not over 90% that are in your subconscious that are negative and they're running the show. Those thoughts, when you let go, they are running the show. So, I mean, this is how you drive. You get in the car and you don't even know when you got from here to here because of the subconscious, or as Joe Dispenza would say, the body took over because it's in the body. The body knows what to do. So it's, it's really interesting how that all that happens. And so going back to Dr. Shad's app, the reason I promote it so intensely is because I use it every single day. I used it this morning and, and I've really learned I am a, a certified self-talk trainer, certified by Dr. Shad Helmstetter, as well as a life coach certified by Dr. Shad Helmstetter as well. And the self-talk, my hubby, he, he is, he's had a rough road the last few years and with his health and this morning I mean we didn't know what was going on and I mean well we know what's going on but um with his diagnosis and things so I had to I had to take him an hour away to we, we live we're country bumpkins do 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 can you tell we're country bumpkins look look at that sunset this is how country bumpkin we are but we really are we're really not close to um uh, a lot so I had to take him an hour away to a hospital and and so he's there now so i had i had come back came back to take care of the, the dogs and my daughter came lynette lynette cosmic moves.com our astrologer daughter so um so it was as as i was walking down i was putting the the uh, the camera and i promise you this story has um it's a good story <laughs> because it's all about self-talk and i was walking down we have a really long driveway it's like a road and I was putting the driveway camera, I had to charge it. And I, as so I was walking down to put it back up because I had been, I had charged it. And, um, and I felt very crumbly inside. Like I just felt like I was, I could just crumble. There's not been a lot of sleep for weeks and, um, and it's been kind of difficult. So, because he's up all night and he, he can't sleep. He's got, you know, some things going on. So, so anyway, I just, when I was walking down the road, it was before we had decided we were going to take him to the hospital and I had to, I had to, to, um, get the dogs ready. I had, I had a lot to do, but I needed to get that camera up. And that was one of the things. And I just, I started telling myself because I felt so crumbly and I thought of the one program in there that is called stress, worry, and stress, worry, and depression. And, and I, and I play that. I, I, I play it for myself and it's, of course, it's three phrases said three different ways 
and and then at a time and and you have like 12 to 15 or something like that of those phrases that are repeat 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 because remember it's repetition for neuroplasticity your brain records it in the beginning then it imprints it wires it in and pretty soon you're thinking these things which this is why I was able as I'm walking down the road feeling all crumbly inside I'm thinking wait a minute Lenny this is a story you're telling yourself like these nothing has really changed plus spiritually everything is a message to me for positive change I know that there's something really good around the corner no matter what comes of this or what happens and 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 then I started saying to myself you're a solution you're solution oriented and and you're a winner like you got this like this this hasn't changed anything. You you can handle this. You're capable. You're competent. And I'm over here telling my high, like my higher self, you you Lenny, you got this. You know, high five, high five, girly, you got this. You know, as as and before, only minutes before, it was like you can do this, Lenny. I believe in you. You got this. And and I just and before I was crumbling. Like I was I was um, feeling tearful, feeling lonely, feeling scared, feeling. Um, sad, just all the 3D emotions, which is contrast. It's a wonderful thing to experience. If you didn't experience that, you wouldn't um, you wouldn't be able to experience the highs on the other side. Because remember, there's a stick with two sides and the middle, and each side is the polar opposites. Th this is duality on planet Earth, right? This is the contrast of good and bad, right and wrong, black and white, wet and dry, and um, and all of those things, evil and good, and 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 then there's the middle and um and and so but there's that contrast because on planet earth we live in duality unless you choose to move back to oneness move back to the center to oneness where it's all one and um where, that, where not even moving to the center it, it's the whole thing is one like there's one is not better than the other they just are contrast they contrast each other so so there's contrast and um and so that you can see and experience the self-talk lifted me it lifted me and i could come back and and have so much compassion for myself remember the drama triangle because there i was in the drama triangle that i've taught you about uh or maybe you even know on your own but <laughs> there i was the victim of the situation and circumstance like oh the world is on my shoulders this is so hard and you know and all the things that come with you know with all of that so i lifted myself so fast so quickly i was so excited and so proud of myself and i was like this self-talk it works it works because you are the one who has your belief you have your attitudes i switched my attitude with the self-talk which i do uh, a lot when i listen to that self-talk so I wanted to share that to show you in your darkest moments, your most lonely moments, your most, when you're angry, when you're, th this is a time when you are so emotional about something. This is the time that you say, I got this. I got this. Like you just throw that compassion energy, just like this golden light, like that sun, you know, you just hit like that sun that I'm going to show you right there, that sun. You just take that golden ball of energy and you just let it go through you. And it's it's like this compassion energy for the human experience. Remember, I'm all about practical spirituality, the spiritual, the spiritual journey, and the human experience. And I was definitely in the human experience. And how do you when and the human experience many times involves the trauma triangle. You really want to stay out of that if you can. I've had so many goosebumps from playing all three angles all at the same time i'm i'm the victim i'm the persecutor and i'm the rescuer all at once i go from place to place from that little the little angle to angle to angle with goosebumps all over my little head and um, i'm so good at being aware about that now because it's a practice this is why practical spirituality this is why i teach what i teach it's practical you can put it to use they're tools like even the drama triangle and nothing is wrong or right good or bad you know it's just it doesn't feel good, so you're in lack. What was I lacking with my hubby? I was lacking security. I was lacking the 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 feelings of, you know, that not of the unknown, which where do miracles and awesome things happen in the space of the unknown? That's where it happens, and um, and so to move myself back 
to, to neutral just because of where I was with that compassion energy, let it flow through me, that golden rush of honey, liquid, sunshiny, compassion, blankety, it's too hot to have a blanket. But anyway, that, that, let it just like quicksilver, but gold or whatever color you want it to be, but it's compassion energy is flowing through you. And pretty soon you're just like, and then I got this, I got this, I can do this. I believe in myself. I, this, you know, it's just like, you, you, you know, that you're telling yourself a story and, and you're having fears that you're creating fears. It's all in your head. Nothing has changed. And, and it was just so quick, the comeback, come back, do, do, do. So that's the way it goes. So, oh, Lynette showed up because she's here to, let's see if she comes on camera. Here, I'll turn it around so you can see. Oh, she's eating something. Ooh. Yum, yum. So anyway, that's how it works. Here is my little, she's Aww. doing, no, Ben, she did, oh, she hair. has something called Mystic Monday, she, her hair. She's been like, look at my hair. We've been <laughs> hospitalizing, but look, she came to help me. Well, She came to be with us, not just me, but <laughs> she came to be part of the family. So um, cosmicmoves.com and on Instagram, she's cosmic.moves and, um, and she has something called Mystic Monday. So she draws cards. And she, I think she only does five or seven. And um, so she'll answer your questions as it relates to, she just draws cards. So as it relates to whatever you ask her. Okay, so we were talking about the drama channel. We were talking about compassion energy. And we're talking about self-talk. Because the self-talk lifted me so quickly because it's in my head. I hear Dr. Shad and all his words like, doing, 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 doing. You got this. You're a problem solver. You're a winner. You got this, Lenny. Yes, I am. And I'm like, yes, yes, I am. I'm a problem solver. That was a story. He doesn't talk about stories, but it, that's, it is what it is. That's that you are creating these stories in your head and they are programs that are running programs, stories, whatever they are, but they are, they're very real to you because you believe them because what were you, you heard it, you heard it, you heard it and it became a belief. So you can change those beliefs. We talked about that. I think that was two days ago. Look for, you can change your beliefs. And maybe I did that on a short. So on a short, it makes me laugh every time because especially summer and shorts. Okay. So here we are again with um, with happy B-Day to my mommy. And if you have a birthday today, happy B-Day to you. Happy birthday. It's not a B-Day. You were not bead. You were birthed. So happy birthday to you. I don't know why I did that. Okay. And my mommy wasn't bead either. <laughs> she was birthed. Okay. So July 8th. And I'm just going to turn around to your higher self to finish this. Oh, I forgot to tell you what this, I am mindful. So this is of neuroplasticity. This is a rule of neuroplasticity to be mindful. I almost forgot. Oh my gosh, a ruse with my big old story. Um, being mindful of what you say to yourself. That was the other part of the self-talk. Being very mindful of my feelings and all of that. But you need to be mindful of being mindful. It's really crazy and aware of being aware that you're looking at yourself being very mindful. Have you ever thought about that? I'm being mindful of being mindful. Think about that. It's pretty powerful and it's a great tool. You're welcome. Okay, here you go. In the in the the higher self, the second person. You are always mindful of being mindful. Oh, see, I told you. You are consciously aware of being aware. Ooh, you are powerful. Because you're mindful, you listen to what you say and you listen carefully to your thoughts. What'd you just think? Did you hear me? I said, what did you just think? It was a whisper, but I don't know if you could hear me. Because you're mindful, you're in control of what you think, what you say, and how you feel. Do, do, do. You are powerful. You are empowered. You are powerful. You are of the one. You are just like that ocean. As I, that's my, I love that. I love that analogy. Like a drop in the ocean, the spray goes whoosh, right? And all these little droplets are all around and each one is an individual expression of that entire ocean has every bit of constituent maybe it has a piece of seaweed that another one doesn't so it's very unique it has a personality but anyway it has the constituents of the entire ocean and then it here it is wee, wee, and, and then another one bumps into it's like hey you and then oh wait i'm we're one and then they come back to peace and then they go whoosh, and then they fall back into the ocean and they're one and they become the ocean because that is what we are. That's exactly what it is. We are spirit and we go back to that. We are individual expressions of that one energy. And when we, when we leave 
our earthly vehicles that we have chosen that it's and we just say thank you and we honor it and it is our call it your temple call it whatever you want but take care of it and um and then and then we go on because you want to have a really good experience you know you want to have fun the entire way and you want to experience everything even even the lows even like walking down the road thinking that somebody might be leaving soon or something you know it's okay it's all it's the contrast so you are an individual expression it's only a matter of degree only a matter of degree plus you're so unique just like that little drop that had a little drop of seaweed in it and the other one didn't that's unique but it had all the constituents of the ocean it just had uniqueness and the other one had something else who knows a little piece of a crab was in it and it's home or something but there it went it's just it's a fairy tale and it's not a fairy tale it's reality it's love it's peace it's happiness it's harmonious it's awesomeness and you are that you are that you're just in you are just it's just a matter of degree so i love you so very very much oh and i hope that you have an amazing no, okay no 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 i'll come back to the label oh oh lynette thank goodness lynette is here no i did she said i didn't finish reading it but i did so I guess I better read it one more time. Just so Lynette knows that I read it. Here, I'm going to put just let you see Lynette. No. <laughs> July 8th. Happy birthday to my mommy. I am always mindful of being mindful. I am consciously aware of being aware. Because I'm mindful, I listen to what I say. And I also listen carefully to my thoughts. Because I'm mindful, I'm in control of what I think, what I say, and how I feel. And you are. I love you so very, very much. Oh, I believe in you. You can do this. You can find your purpose. I'm here to guide you to find your purpose it, the best that I possibly can. And I'm here to help you think about it and be mindful about being mindful about it and being aware of being aware about it. And understanding the neuroplasticity is your gift. That is the word, neuroplasticity. Understand the power that you have. That word is just a word, but it's the, it's the power of your brain. It is the control center and you are the gatekeeper. You're the, you're the controller. You're at the, you're at the controls. So I love you so very, very much. I hope, hope you have an most amazing day and we will, did I say anything? Oh yes. Shining my light to brighten yours. Psst. I love you so very, very much. Joe. See you tomorrow. Ciao.